Can mathematics help farmers attract bees? Researchers at UBC Okanagan think so, and they have published a study that suggests timing, quantity, and diversity could be the key to success. They applied the principles of dynamic energy budget theory to model how a colony of bumblebees reacts to environmental conditions. So you take all those bits of information that the biologists had and have, and then you can put that in an equation that says, well, we know that bees move approximately like this, and they move this fast, and they go this far, and they respond to these spatial cues in a certain way, and you put that in your equation, and then you can predict forward. The study found that bees will stick around longer if there's a variety of blossoms and flowers, but not too many, and if there's a good mix of nectar and protein in those flowers. It's, it's best if the wildflower and crop flower bloom don't overlap too much, so there's less competition. You also really need that early wildflower bloom, so if you can plant types that do that. And then the nutritional content, that's, that's an interesting piece. So re, um, bees gather two types of resource from flowers, nectar and pollen. Nectar is just sugar, so that's the same from one flower to another. It might have a different concentration, but other than that, it's pretty similar. Pollen, however, that's protein. They need that for the babies, for the brood. Um, and it's made of nine amino acids and some pollen is more nutritious than other pollen. The research focused on blueberry blossoms, but the theory can likely be applied to other agricultural crops. The findings were recently published in the Bulletin of Mathematical Biology. For Castanet News in Kelowna, I'm Cindy White.